Let me ask you this. Do you guys like history? Yeah. Yeah. Be honest. No. Why? Because I'm a teacher. Yeah, because I'm a teacher. Because it's what? <laughs> it's boring. It's boring. But now, now, look, history isn't boring. You said it depends on the teacher, right? True. It depends how you're shown history, right? If we look at history like this, now what is this? What is this? It's memorizing numbers, right? If we're memorizing all these numbers, um, all of a sudden history becomes boring because, look, we put all this stuff in our head. Why? If we don't know when something happened, we can go to the internet. Why do we memorize everything? And we do this in Poland a lot. That's because of the education system. Right? But we memorize. But look, basically, if you don't know something, you go to the internet. And, and you find it there. Now, uh, the thing about history is it's like this. What is this place? Grunwald. Oh, you know that. <laughs> Grunwald. Grunwald, yes. Now, why is Grunwald so important? Because it's a victory. Huh? It's a victory. Because we kicked the Germans' ass. <laughs> we kicked their ass, right? Now, if we didn't do this, now what is it about Poland and neighbors, right? Today we still don't like the Germans, do we? 100%. Well, the Germans. Eh, you know, oh, the Russians. Ooh. I hear this today all the time in Poland. We don't even say Russians. We say... When I hear that, I say, oh, pierogi? Yes, because I love, you know, I love pierogi. They're good. Look, we have to start to like our neighbors. If we don't like our neighbors, it becomes a problem for us. Because this is Europe. This is the 21st century. Yes, we did. We kicked the Germans' ass, and this is why this is important. If we didn't, we would never hear about Grunwald. Nobody would teach us this. We'd say, oh yeah, Grunwald, that's so important. Let's talk about something else. Right? But we won. We won. This is because we like to look at history from the point of view of winners. You know, we like to be winners. We like to be proud of our history, right? You can be proud, you know, of, of our history. And this is the way I was taught history. Now take a look at this. Who is this guy? Oh, look. Three ships. Columbus. The man. Columbus, the guy who started it all, right? Who started this, this uh, really, I mean, he's the guy responsible for everything that we have today. Now, Columbus, you know, maybe this is what it looked like. I don't know. He's got the sword here and he's got, you know, the three ships are there. But I'd like to show you something a little bit different. And, you know, this is the way I was taught history. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Right? This is it. That's all I found out about Columbus. <laughs> That's it. That was the whole story. Now, unfortunately, there's a little bit more to this information. And if you take a look at this, now this is a drawing, a little bit. These are actually Native Americans. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> um, but look, this is, a, this is a page from a history book. Now, this was written almost 500 years ago. Now, Columbus was, a, was an educated man. He took notes. He wrote things down. Did anybody here keep a diary? Yeah. 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 Diary, yeah. Like today, you're going to write, um, Dear Diary, I had the best English lesson today ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was so interesting. I'll remember it till the day I die. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't fool myself, all right? I don't kid myself that much. But look, Columbus kept a diary. <coughs> he kept a diary. So this, there's a, there was another guy a couple of years after Columbus. He took Columbus's diary and he made it into a history. So this is a drawing which is almost 500 years old. And look, it shows basically the same thing as that other drawing, right? Only it's, it's not in color. It's not in color. Now look, of course, we have very important things here. We've got Columbus. Who are these guys? Yes. The natives. The natives. Don't forget to use natives. I still make that mistake. Natives. It's better to say natives. But it doesn't really matter. We don't have to be politically correct. The Indians. Let it be the Indians. And we've got Columbus, muskets, guns, armor, swords, swords, the cross. Very important. Right? Christianity. And of course, the three ships. Okay? Now this is one way of... Now keep this in mind. I'm going to show you later. I'm going to show you another page out of the same history book. So keep this, keep this in the back of your head. Now, anyway. 
The whole idea of discovery is a very fascinating subject. Now, if we take a look, think about these questions. Like, were there people living there when Columbus came? Or did they just come to empty the land? Natives. Huh? Natives. Yeah, the natives were there, right? Now, who was there longer, Columbus or the natives? The natives. The Indians were there longer, 50,000 years, <laughs> we think. They were there for 50,000 years. Now, take a look at this. Now, just take a look at this. Uh, yeah, look at this. Whoa! That's a heavy bag. This is my bag. No, it is. Sure it is. This is my bag. No, I didn't. I didn't steal it. I saw it there. I just, what if I say I discovered it? Oh, look, a bag. And I say, now it's mine. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Do you get the idea? So this now I'm a nice guy. I'm not like Columbus. I'm a nice guy. So I'm going to give this back to you. All right? But if I was Columbus, you wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> now look, this is how it works. So why do we keep saying that Columbus discovered America? Why do we say discovered? Why don't you just say, what do you say like I did? I stole it, right? I stole it. Why don't we say that? Why don't we say he stole it, he took it, he invaded it, he conquered it, he ripped it off. <laughs> Why do we keep saying he stole it? Because we're nice people. Are you nice people? Huh? Are you nice? Are you a nice person? Yeah, you're nice. We're nice people, see? We want to be nice. Now, Columbus was a European. We don't want to say Columbus the murderer, Columbus the scoundrel. We want to make him into a hero. So we say he discovered America because discovery is for winners. And we want to be the winners. Of course, the question is what happens to the losers, right? So let's take a look at what happens to the losers. Now, this is possibly what it might have looked like. I don't know. I love these kind of paintings, these historical paintings, right? Here's the king and queen. The queen has a headache. She's like, oh. <laughs> Oh, it's Come Columbus on. again. Oh. <laughs> get rid of him, Ferdinand. Just give him some money. Get him out of here. Get him. So she's not very. Now he's a. Uh, <laughs> he's being a king, which is what kings do. Everybody's doing this. They've got this. He's got his. Now this is, of course, Columbus. And, and he's here. we got a native here. Maybe this is what it looked like. I don't know. I mean, we can imagine this is what it was like. But look, so here's what happens. On the second voyage, Columbus promises endless gold and slaves to the king and queen. So this time, the king and queen give him a lot of money. They 17 ships, so not three, 17 ships and 1,200 men. So now the king and queen have made a serious investment, a serious investment in Columbus, right? So Columbus had better produce some gold real fast, right? Because if you don't do that, you know, you're in trouble. So Columbus comes up with a brilliant idea, and he makes every native who is 14 years or older uh, collect a certain amount of gold every month, right? And in exchange, in exchange for this gold, you got a copper tag to wear around your neck, okay? So. If you didn't have the gold, what happened to you as a native? What happened? What do you think happened? What was the punishment? Huh? Death. Death? Death is too simple. See, the natives weren't afraid of dying. They were happy. They, they weren't afraid of death. You know, death was not a punishment for them. It had to be worse than death. What they did, so Columbus came up with this idea of cutting off the hands. So what would, what would happen is those without the gold or without tax would have their hands cut off. This the natives understood because it was a horrible way to die. Right? Now, of course, this is something I never found out in high school. Nobody told me about this part of American history. But it's kind of important because it shows how little Columbus cared about the natives, right? I mean, the, you know, who cares? They, they weren't white and they weren't Christian. So. Who cares? Chop their heads. Now take a look at this. Now this is absolutely amazing. This is a drawing from that same history book. The same history book. 
showing how cruel Columbus was to the natives. Now this is almost 500 years old. Today, you won't find this, and if you pick up a history book on American history today, most of them will not show this episode of American history. Right? 500 years ago, it was okay. You know, 500 years ago. <laughs> It's there, it's legal, so I guess it's, I guess it's okay to watch. You don't have to go somewhere and download it. Uh, it might be showing in the regular theaters, I don't know. It was released in Poland last year. But look, this is how it is. These are, the Spanish, these are the Spanish people trying to figure out their history. You know, they're trying to come to terms with what happened. And that's why they make a film about it. Amazing story. Check it out. <laughs> 